good morning to everyone today we will discuss about c++ in data types what is a data type a data type define the type of data a variable can hold what is a data data are collection of uh, characters uh, digits symbols etc the data are used to represent information in memory location you have to predefined data type data as a integer data as character data as float okay data as double the data are classified in classified into various type data types uh, divided into three categories user defined data type built in type and drive data type okay okay show this picture uh, c++ data type three categories first one drive data type what is a drive data type a data type that are derived from the built in data type are known as uh, uh, derived data type array function pointer reference okay now discuss first one array array means uh, array is a collection of elements of similar data type in which each element is located in separate memory location example you have de declared before data types int int e of 5 int is a data type a array name of phi that means phi element allocated in memory location one dimension array types of arrays one dimension array two dimension array multi dimension array example of one dimension array of phi second one two dimension array int e of 2 2 row 3 columns next one int e of 1 dimension array 2 dimensional array 3 dimensional array last one uh, omitted array you have to empty space okay next go to function function here function is here self contained block or a sub program of one or more statement that perform a specific task when called the c++ function are more civilized than c it is possible to use the same name with multiple definitions known as function overloading 
next one pointer a pointer is a memory variable that stores a memory address okay pointer can have any name that is legal for other variable and it is declared in the same fashion like other variable but it, it is always denoted by asterisk symbol example you have declare uh, pointer symbol int pointer symbol of x char means character data type pointer symbol y float float pointer symbol z that means you have to semicolon okay next one reference reference operator reference operator is used to define referencing variable a reference variable prepare an alternative name for previously defined variable for example for example you have to declare int sum equal to 10 semicolon that means in using reference variable int reference of um, p p equal to sum this ampersand symbol is called a reference variable that means this data int sum of 10 that means this data is the data valued 10 store in p okay next one built in data type built in data type is divided in with three categories integral type that is integer type floating type void uh, first one int what is mean by int is called integer value integer means uh, define as a number that can be written without a fraction component example int a equal to 10 int b equal to 20 30 okay that means round number 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 55 comma dot 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 comma that means uh, round number without fraction that is called integer number char char it is a short for character which is a data type that holds one character letter or number example char you have defined char of mm, a equal to s equal to B B 
we have declared A is a character, B is a character, C is a character. Okay. Except floating type. What is meaning floating? A float is a floating point number, which means it is a number that has a decimal place. Example. Float. Float means you have declared uh, a. That means ten point two, comma one point two, point five. Four three point that means point is referred to the floating number four x five point floating point that means decimal place this point is referred to the floating number two point three ten point two point four five three point four six point six seven okay next one double double as fifteen decimal digit Of precedence, for example, double twelve and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and okay, in up to fifteen points. Next, fifteen. Okay, the support of fifteen digits dot twenty-three point to support these numbers. Fraction numbers. Okay, last one. Boolean types. Void. Void is empty data type. Void is empty data type. It can be used in three ways. First one. When specified. As a function or return type, void means that the function does not return a value. The void keyword also as argument for function. When found in a function heading, void means the function does not take any arguments. when third one when specified as a function return type and in function heading that is the function neither returns a value nor requires any arguments uh, example you void sum Why do you refer to empty data type? Okay. Now discuss uh, third type of third category of categories of C plus plus data type. User defined data type. User defined data types is a type which the data can be represented. the type of data inform the interpreter how the programmer will use the data the data can be predefined meaning or user defined data type predefined meaning structure union class emulation structure first one structure is a keyword struct and used to combine variable of different data types in a single record that means uh, in structure concept you have to use different types of data types integer float character character in single 
structure name mm. next one union union is a same as compared to a struct but the only differences is that it allows the user to declare variable that share the same memory space same the union keyword your yeah, syntax union space union name open brace data types uh, variable names etc close brace union variable name okay next one class class is a keyword collection of different data types okay in this class topic it is a very very important topic in c++ la language next class we discuss in class okay, next one enumerate enumeration the keyword enum is a keyword it is used for declaring enumeration data types the programmer can declare new data type and defined the variable of these data types that can hold for example the user can define the material of new data type okay example of size range and format of c++ basic types uh, variable character keyword you have declare character char c a g r bytes require one byte range minus 122 2 plus 1 127 format percent of c case integer means you have using format d percent of d float means Require bytes four percent of f double bytes required eight format left long unsigned care unsigned in unsigned long double long double okay the bytes and ranges and formats okay if any doubt you chat in youtube box okay thank you